Hi guys, so in this video, I will be talking about and introducing um, servo motors. And this is what servo motors look like. And um, these are two different types of motors. And this is used for a more precise control because it allows you to set it to turn for certain degrees. And I'll show you guys that later. And um, it also comes with these different kind of attachments that would help it better achieve precise control. And um, we will normally see these servo motors in um, used in robotics and automation. So for example, um, when, when we usually connect a DC motor to a power supply, it rotates constantly, but for servo motors, they are different. Um, these will not constantly rotate, technically, um, but I haven't figured out how to stop this one from constantly rotating. Um, for me, this is um, basically acting like a DC motor, um, but in its description, it says it's a servo motor, so I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, I will show you guys later how these two motors react differently when I um, upload the same code in them. Um, but for this motor, it does let you tell it um, how far to rotate. And for some servo motors, they turn 180 degrees, like this one. So it stops right here. Um, but for other ones, it would rotate um, 360. Yeah, so like this one. So this one is called um, a closed loop type. And there's usually a pin inside um, to physically stop it from rotating further. Um, and this one is called uh, an open loop type. So these two are the types of motors that we commonly use. And there's uh, one more difference between these two motors. Um, that is their torque. Uh, you can probably tell that this one has a larger torque. And torque just represents um, how much force the motor can apply. In other words, um, let's say if you stick a pen onto this motor right here, when the motor turns, um, the pen will also turn. It'll turn with it. Um, whereas if it's this motor, it might not be able to keep turning when the pen's on there because the torque is smaller. And normally the physical size of the motor would increase with the torque. You can probably already tell. Um, and of course, motors, these motors have limits um, with the currents going through it and the voltage. But within the limits, if higher voltage um, is applied to them, they will turn faster. And I'll show you guys my code. And this code connects uh, uh, an infrared sensor to the servo motor. And it basically tells the motor to, um, if the sensor detects an object, the motor will turn for 10 degrees. And if it doesn't detect an object, the motor will turn for 150 degrees. And um, then I'll show you how these two motors act differently. So here an object is detected, and here it's not. And here is what this motor does. So it keeps turning in this direction, and then it turns to the other direction and it just keeps turning. It turns constantly. Um, and so that was the difference between a uh, closed loop type motor and a uh, open loop type motor. And Thank you for watching my video.